Hello everyone, this is Sister Margaret Mary. I would like to share two classroom management ideas that work well in the music room. The first idea is called the music trophy. And this is what it looks like. I ordered this from a music catalog in our school colors and at the bottom it says superstar musicians. You can pick one up at a local sports store and have one made in your school colors. But this is very popular with the students. Each class competes to earn the trophy or to win the trophy and keep it in their homeroom. And I have a score sheet to show you. It looks like this. Now what I will do is create a PDF file and post it in the group and then you can download it. And there are six categories. And then you can see the grades that are going across. What I will do is leave that blank and then you can fill that in. I'm using this with preschool, three-year-olds, all the way up to grade five. I'm not using it with sixth, seventh, and eighth because um, the middle school students are mixed in my music classes because they sign up for electives. So that's very, very popular. The second idea is class points. And if you can see behind me, I have a giant game board. At the end of class, if the students are good, they get to roll the dice. One person rolls the dice, another person holds a little basket um, that keeps the dice from flying all over the room when they roll. And they will roll, and if they, um, they move their marker, and then once they land on a place, they have to answer a music question correctly. If it's answered correctly, then they stay on that spot. If not, they go back to where they were. And then I have some cards in various levels. So here's a card. And let me see, I'll show you another one. I'm legally blind, so I can't really see what I'm showing you on the screen. So I have another symbol for you. So you get the idea. And on the game board, some of the places are marked with instructions. Yay, go to finish, or roll again, or switch places. I also have stars, and if they land on a star, that is a shortcut. What I will do is um, go up to the board and hopefully take a good video of the game board, and it gives you an idea. I will also put a PDF file for this. You can print it out. And then I um, used cardstock and then laminated it. And then it's up on the board using magnetic tape. What you can do is actually go to a classroom store or a teacher store and you can buy colored shapes. That might save some time and put your magnetic tape behind the colored shapes and then you can write your directions on the shapes. So let me give you a quick close-up of the game board. And as I said, the trophy and the class points game board work nicely. Very competitive. And what's nice about the class points game board, you don't have to change your decorations. They're up for the year. And it's okay, super here's the start. And as you can see, some of the classes are missing because they are already on the board. So I'm going to move along the board and you can see where some classes are in place. And I use question marks because they don't know what question they'll be asked to answer. Now once a class gets to finish, here's the uh, scoreboard and I just put a sticker next to their name for each time they win the game. So I'm just holding this up and hopefully you will be able to see some of the action cards or the doing cards that uh, switch places or yay go to finish. So this was created in Publisher? No, let's see, it was created in PowerPoint. And there, as I said, hopefully this will work. 
Another source for good clip art is clicker.com, www.clkr.com, and the file format is PNG, which is really nice because you can layer your clip art without having a white background behind it blocking other images. So hopefully this gives you an idea of what the class points board looks like. Oh, I forgot to tell you, if they roll doubles, they take another turn, and if they land on another person's spot, then that other class has to go back to start. So I hope these ideas help you. And as I said, I will put the PDF files or upload the PDF files to the group. Thank you for watching.